So I'm sitting here, angry, pissed off, disgusted, frustrated at everything that has been going on here over the past three years, okay? I can tolerate certain things, okay? And I can wait it out and be understanding of a people who've never seen a black, positive, American female, single mother, bald head, whatever, before. I get that there are going to be whispers and stares and all that other kind of stuff. But I expected those things to get better, not worse over the years. I have been here in Tisavashvati for this is my third year now. And I can say I've had enough. Okay, the kids call me nigger in the class. They call my daughter a nigger who happens to be biracial. Okay, she's not a nigger. I'm not a nigger. Check yourself, check the dictionary and find out what a nigger really is. Because maybe you might want to hold up a mirror the next time you get ready to use that word. The thing that set me off, okay, is that today I was in class with the third graders, of which my daughter is in that class, okay? And one of the little boys came up to me and was like, oh my God, Tammy, somebody wrote something ugly, somebody mi something mean. He said, in Hungarian, I'm thinking he wrote it about one of the kids in the class because I'm like, I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate people talking about each other. I don't care. So he brought it up to me and I see that my name is written on the board in bigger letters than normal, medium sized letters. And it says, Tammy Huya. Now Huya in Hungarian means stupid or idiot or it's nothing nice. I can tell you, Google it, Fordito, however you wanna do it, find out what the word means. H U with the two dots on top, L Y E, Huya. Okay, that's what they said. Okay, and let me tell you something. Okay, anger doesn't begin to s describe how I feel right now. All right, I'm telling you right now. Okay, that that set me off. And let me tell you something nothing is going to be done about it. When I went to the teacher and told them that they had caused my daughter a nigger, they didn't do anything about it. I don't expect anything to be done. But I'm going to tell you one something, this everyone something, okay? Don't come here. If you're expecting to be treated kindly and nice, and I've been kind to them, okay? I've reached into my pocket, done whatever I could for them. They asked me for help with their university papers, for help with their papers that they needed written to whoever, their other professors, and help with anything they needed translated in English. I've done it. Most people would charge them. Everybody I know charges them. $15 an hour, $10 an hour. I've never charged anybody. The only thing I charged them was some food. I said, when I help you, can you feed me? Because I love to eat. That is all I've ever charged anyone. But yet and still, they can call me nigger as I'm walking through the hallway. I go to Caboyanos. They call me nigger in the classrooms. Call me who, yeah, now they writing it down on the board. And I don't mean the board on the, in the classroom up on the wall. I mean the board like that's at their desk. So now it's there, okay? Let me tell you something, all right? They keep here, Chicago means something bad, okay? Yes, I'm from Chicago. And yes, the temptation is there to knock somebody in their face. But let me tell you something. I'm not gonna be the stereotype, okay? I'm not gonna get violent with you. I'm not even gonna name call like you call. And trust me, everybody in the world got names that they can call y'all because they're thinking it and they're saying it. That was one of my reasons for coming here. I wanted to see for myself how it was because like the people that live over here, I'm black. I know what it's like to suffer and have people talk about you and be at the bottom of the totem pole. I know what it's like. So I thought we had that in common. But you know what they did? Instead of taking that opportunity as a golden opportunity and us getting to know each other's culture, they took that as an opportunity to talk about and disrespect and try to degrade someone who they felt was lower on the totem pole than themselves. That's what they've done. I understand what's going on. I know about the history of Eastern Europe and the history of Hungary, probably more than some of them do, okay? 
but I will not be disrespected. I will not have my daughter disrespected, okay? And I will not be the stereotype. I am not a nigger. I am not who yet. I am not Chunya and any other disrespectful and negative words that you want to throw my way. And yes, whoever wrote it, coward. When you say these things and you don't come to my face with it, coward, okay? Because at least if you came to my face with it, we could talk about it, but no. And the parents and the teachers that sit by and do nothing and allow the kids to call me nigger, allow their kids to call my daughter nigger and to call me stupid, then why the hell do you have me as your teacher? If you think I'm so stupid and you think I'm such an idiot, then why have I been here for three years? Why have I been helping everybody translate and do their work and do their assignments and do their papers and complete their documents? If I'm so stupid and if I'm such an idiot, then how come their papers have been successful? Hmm. Yeah, who's the idiot now? That's what I thought. So let me tell you something to whoever it was that said it. I know what you said. Irtem moyeru. Okay? Irtem mit mondod. Okay? I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're doing. Okay? And I don't like it. All right? Now you know. Now you know why I don't communicate with you. Now I'm communicating. Because whenever I communicate with you, you excuse your behavior. And I don't stand for it. Because I guarantee you, if one of y'all came to America, if one of y'all came to Chicago, and I even caught wind of someone calling y'all a name, they get it. Okay? Because I don't tolerate prejudice or racism from anybody. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you are. So thank you. Tisavash Friday. Thank you for all the people who have called me names. Thank you for letting me know how y'all really are over here. Thank you very much. Kissing them safe in.